Santa Rita Jail is the fifth largest county jail facility in the United States. It's really like a city and a community of its own. The jail is a million square foot facility. It houses about 4,000 inmates, has about 500 sheriff deputies. So reliability is ultimate. When there was ever a power outage, the jail would go completely dark for about 10 seconds before the emergency generators would come online. Well, about four years ago, Chevron approached us with the concept of doing a smart grid out at our Santa Rita jail. This is a, a decade-long story. It's a long-term relationship that we've had Chevron Energy with Alameda County. They started with a little bit of lighting improvement, energy efficiency measures. Since then, uh, we've graduated to this exciting smart grid. Here at the jail, we generate electricity from solar power, from wind power, and also from a fuel cell. And then with that power, we store that in a battery that's on site here and able to utilize that power when we need it. But what hadn't been there previously was an ability to actually island off and be self-sufficient and operate independently, but not only do that, but do it seamlessly. The mode that is gonna operate most of the time is what we call it grid connected, meaning that we are connected to the utilities with a pg e grid here. When we are operating grid connected because the utility is available, reliability is not an issue. The concern is lowering energy costs. You lower energy costs by purchasing your electric power, your energy, during off-peak time and minimizing the amount of power that you purchase from the utility during peak times. And so we control the operation of this battery to minimize the cost of electric power. What makes a smart grid project smart is the computer system that's behind it. We're looking at not only how much power we're bringing in, but also how much we're generating on site. This is probably one of the most advanced power systems that you'll find in the world. This is the first time the county has uh, had this level of a, a public-private partnership with uh, Chevron, with the Department of Energy, with the California Energy uh, Commission, with the California uh, Public Utilities Commission. So I think in terms of scope and mag magnitude, in terms of partners, uh, resources, et cetera, this is, this is the granddaddy. We've been able to take the sun and wind, natural things that go on in our environment, and take a one million square foot place and, and basically for 70% of it, run it off of the electrical grid. I really applaud the leaders at Alameda County for their decision to move forward with uh, innovative projects like we've done at the Santa Rita Jail. They are a prime example of what other counties, institutions, and businesses can follow suit with to really help manage the growing demand for energy. It gives us a savings of about $100,000 a year, so in terms of showing uh, that you can uh, be sensitive to the environment and still save money, improves both of those things. I see the power systems in the future a lot more efficient, relying a lot more in renewable generation, and being able to uh, reduce the the outages, increased reliability, and providing all the benefits that a power system brings to a society. Projects like this are uh, a great way for us to plan for a brighter future because it allows us to take uh, our aging infrastructure and modernize it in ways that are going to be much more energy efficient, that are going to provide better environments, cleaner environments, safer environments uh, for generations to come.